Hello and a very happy new year. Um, even though if it is a bit strange and kind of feels like last March because all the schools are shut. Um, anyway, I hope you had a really great Christmas. Did you enjoy Christmas over there? I did. Yay! Did you get any nice presents? Oh yes, I got a lovely china tea set and a book called Juggling for Beginners. I see. And now I've just got a book called Juggling for Beginners. Oh dear. And I had a very important job to do. Oh really? What was that? Well, my Aunt Rita, the Aunt Rita, couldn't find the angel that normally sits on top of her Christmas tree. So I had to do it instead. You had to sit on top of her Christmas tree? Yep. Right. All Christmas? Yep. And how was that? Well, you know sometimes if you have to sit still for a long time you get pins and needles. Yeah. Well, I just got needles. Oh dear. Lots of them stuck in my... I don't... I, I don't think we need to hear about that, Obadiah. Oh. Did you enjoy um, the Chris Dingle service? Oh, yes, very much. I liked hearing the story of when Jesus was born. Oh, I love that story too. And if you haven't caught it yet at home, you can still watch it online. It's on this channel. Just scroll back through some of the episodes. And you know what? What? Over the next few weeks, we're going to be having some more stories about Jesus. When he was a baby? No, I think we'll do some stories about when he was grown up. A grown up? Yeah. I bet he needed a bigger manger. Um, well, we'll find out lots of things about him, I'm sure. The places he went, the people he met, the things he did. Honey? Yes. How do we know about all the places he did and the things he met and, and the people he went? That's a really good question, or at least it was very nearly a really good question, but I think I know what you mean. Oh, good. Um, you see, there are four books that tell us the story of Jesus' life. Oh, I, I, I bet I know what one of them is. Is it the Bible? Well... The Bible is really a collection of books, so I'm talking about four short books that are all part of the Bible. Oh. And they're called the Gospels. The golf balls? No, the Gospels. Oh. I do think you need your hearing checked, Obadiah. Pardon? Yeah, well, quite. Um, each one tells the story of Jesus' life in a different way. Oh. What, what do you mean? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Gripping Gospels Let's start at the beginning with John the Baptist. Hey, hang on, wait a minute. What about baby Jesus and the shepherds in the star? What about Christmas? Well... Mark's Gospel doesn't tell the Christmas story. It starts with John the Baptist. We learned about him before, do you remember? He was the one who told people to share what they had with poor people. That's right. And the king cut his head off. Yes, um, but not before he baptised Jesus. And that was the start of the time when Jesus travelled around with all his followers. Oh. Can we get back to Mark now? Oh, all right. Cool. Jesus was God's son, the Messiah. He performed many miracles. He was killed by the Romans and came back from the dead. That was short and sweet. Well, Mark's Gospel is the shortest of the four. But why did we start with that one? I thought Matthew was first. Ah, oh, you do know a bit about the Bible, Obadiah. You just Matthew, can't... Mark, Luke and John went to bed with their trousers on. Not quite. That's how I remember it. Um, okay. Um, 
not how I was taught it. Um, anyway, so well, not everyone gets a chance to have a good education, Hannah. I'm sorry. True. Um, anyway, so Matthew is the first in the Bible, but people think now that Mark's was written first. Oh. Matthew and Luke both seem to have used Mark's gospel as a source. You mean they copied him? That's cheating. <laughs> well, not really. They just wanted to tell the story of Jesus the best way they could. So they used whatever they could find that had already been written about his life. So are Matthew, Mark and Luke exactly the same? No. They're quite similar, but not exactly the same. Matthew and Luke both tell the story of Jesus being born in Bethlehem. Oh, I think I like them better already. Well, shall we find out a bit more then? Gripping Gospels Jesus was born in Bethlehem. There were shepherds and wise men, and when he grew up he did lots of miracles like Mark said. Um, the most important thing about him, though, is that he was Jewish. He was the new Moses. He came to keep the promises that God made to the Israelites back in the old days. So, Matthew's story is a bit different from Mark's. Oh, well, yeah, there were a few differences. Like what? One is that Matthew calls Jesus the son of David. I thought Jesus' dad was called Joseph. <laughs> he was. David was one of Joseph's ancestors, who was king of the Israelites. Matthew wanted people to understand that Jesus was one of God's special people, the Israelites. We've learned about the Israelites, Obadiah. Remember? Have, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Matthew thought it was important for people to think of Jesus' life as part of the story of the Israelites, the people that God had rescued from Egypt and given their own homeland. What about Luke? What did he want people to know about Jesus? Well, there are two books written by the same person. The one that we call Luke's Gospel and another one we call the Acts of the Apostles, or Acts for short. Axe? Like for cutting down a tree? What is that movement? That's me cutting down a tree okay. with an axe. No. I haven't got an axe, so I'm using my head. Like that. <laughs> no, not axe. Acts. Oh! It means things people do. Oh! In the Bible, the book of Acts comes right after the Gospels. It tells us all about what Jesus' followers did after Jesus died and came back to life and then went up to heaven. It's the very beginning of the history of the church. Oh! Let's see what Luke has to say. Gripping Gospels Jesus was born in Bethlehem, like Matthew said. When he was 12 years old, his parents lost him when they visited Jerusalem. They found him in the temple, talking with the men who taught people about God. In my book, you'll read exactly what Jesus said to his disciples. This is history. This is what really happened. So, is Luke's version the true one? Well, that's what he wanted people to think. But it wasn't really. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just that different things were important for Luke. Matthew wanted people to think of Jesus as part of the story of the people of Israel. Luke wanted people to think about Jesus as someone who really lived and spoke and chose the people who started the church. And what about the other one? Um, Dave? John. You mean John? That was the one. Well... Ryan. And John? John's Gospel is very different from the other three. Does he have the Christmas bit? No, afraid not. Oh, so he starts with John the Baptist, like Mark, like Mark does. Is it is it a John thing? No, 
John starts with the very beginning, before the world was created. Oh! Gripping Gospels Jesus was with God from the very start. In a way, he is God. So the man who lived in Nazareth and died in Jerusalem was the one who made the whole world. Isn't that amazing? Jesus told us about God because, in a way, he was God. I'm not really interested in the start of the church like Luke is. He's more of a historian, and I'm a bit of a philosopher. He's interested in what happened, but I want to know why. So there are four Gospels. Yep. Written by John, Paul, George and Ringo. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. That's what I said. Except. Uh oh. Well, we don't really know who wrote them. You see, Jesus lived about 2,000 years ago. That was before cameras and computers and television were invented. It was even before printing was invented. So books had to be copied out by hand. And lots of things that were written in those times have been lost forever. And some things we only have parts of or copies of, or we have several versions that are slightly different. So knowing who wrote a book and what it really says sometimes involves an awful lot of, well, detective work. Oh. The Gospels all seem to have been written quite a few years after Jesus died. And like I said, we don't know for sure who wrote them, but they've been called Matthew, Mark, Luke and John for a long time. Mark's Gospel is the oldest, and Matthew and Luke copied parts of their stories from it. John is quite different from the other three. It's less interested in what Jesus did and more interested in who he is. 